So do you see? You will make more money by going wide than you will by going deep. Here's a caveat. If I have never seen an easier time to build than right now. And how many income positions do you need to have built to earn seven levels deep on the matching bonus? So you have to build two income positions, right? Not two pay lines, but two income positions. And so I would, if I were you, get your two income positions locked in while the Recruiting is the easiest that it'll ever be. That's my strategy, and also it builds stability through the organization. But if you want to make the most amount of money the fastest, go this way. You see, it's not a right or wrong. It's your choice. Got it? Any questions on that? Tim, can you kind of talk about going wide when you're already... Okay. After I built this second income position, what do I get? I get another income position and I get another pay line. I could build wide right here also. And so if I build wide here, it's still driving up the line. No. It does. It drives up this line. Okay, so that's the other strategy. So you said it, it flows up when you create that income position. So it doesn't start over. Like, in other words, if uh, Nick is your, your first uh, position and your new uh, income position, you're saying that the people above Nick are going to benefit from that, even though it's a brand new income position. Even Correct. if maxed out. Even if it, well, I'm maxed out. Yeah. I'm up here. Right. Doesn't mean you're maxed out. Right. So I would benefit, oh, you're right, you're right. Right? So, all right, so where do I place this income position? Placement is an entirely different decision. Rule one, put your second income position, I'd be writing this, on your most powerful builder on his weakest leg. Okay, so it might not be this person, it might be this person somewhere over here. You see that? In other words, if he's my most powerful builder, and this is his most powerful leg, and this is his weakest leg. Now, why is that the philosophy? Because if he's capable of building that, he has to build this. And so I would rather put my income position in that line, because he will help me build down the line, so I would only have to build one. That's the theory. If he says... Tim Sales, am I down line? I'm done on that leg. Yeah. <laughs> then I turn around and go, hey, wait a minute, we had a deal. You see? Right, but that's the strategy. All right. Now, where does that not work? If, if he and I don't get along, that is going to be a problem. Okay, and so... So rule one, business-wise, is always in your most powerful builder's weak leg, unless there is conflict of people, because you can't overcome that. Any questions? Repeat what you said about replacing your second income position. All right. On your most powerful builder's weakest leg. Okay? Five positions gets you 22000 a week. Now, that <laughs> right, so he and I have played around and twisted and screwed and done everything to that comp plan to figure out how we get to 100 grand a month. I suggest you follow. <laughs> All right, thank you, participants. That's good.